Hi, I'm Tony Fowle. Uh, this is the fourth and possibly last uh, part of the series uh, of videos on building this uh, bandsaw that I made. Uh, this video is going to concern itself with the table and the way in which it pivots. Well, before looking at the physical bits of the uh, bandsaw table that I built, I want to talk a little bit about the, the thinking behind the way in which I made it tilting. Um, now, the, the normal way that you see on uh, most bandsaws that have a tilting table, they have a trunnion bearing uh, ar arrangement. If this is the bandsaw table and this is the bandsaw blade then they'll have some sort of trunnion bearing here a piece like that fixed to the um, table itself and then another piece fixed to the frame of the bandsaw and uh, uh, these will be clamped together when it's in uh, in position and when you want to angle the table this part that's fixed to the table will rotate within this. Now the center of rotation of this will be on the line of the bandsaw blade uh, near the top of the table so that this part of the table when it's tilted uh, still remains aligned with the blade. Well, that's it, uh, on a homemade bandsaw that's a fair bit of work if you're going to do a quality installation of that. So the, I'll draw the table again, here, and here's the, the blade, and uh, now from a construction point of view it would be much simpler just to have a simple pivot, and the obvious place to put that would be where you can fit it, which would be around here. But then, instead of that table pivoting up around here on the blade as it did with the trunnion type bearing, it would pivot down here so this part of the table would actually move sideways quite a bit when it was tilted over here because it's pivoting about there. So now the piece here you can see that's moved sideways quite a bit. Now we could accommodate that only by making quite a, a wide slot in the bandsaw table where the bandsaw blade passed through. But then it occurred to me that there was a way of changing that slightly uh, to have it so that it pivoted and there was hardly any lateral movement of the slot in the table where the blade would have to go through. So if this is the bandsaw table again, the bandsaw blade. Now if I were to use a simple pivot but instead of putting it here as we were just looking at, if I put it over here then this part where the blade passes through will move on an arc that's determined by this pivot. So to move on an arc something like that. So you can see the lateral movement of the part of the blade. Let me just try a different colour. Ah, that's working better. So the lateral movement as we move from the horizontal position to the tilting position is just a relatively small amount pretty close to emulating what uh, a normal bandsaw does with the trunnion bearing but just think how much simpler this is it's just a question of offsetting a simple pivot from the bandsaw blade and having that as close underside uh, of the table as possible and then it's possible to work out to, well I, I wanted a maximum tilt of 45 degrees or plus and minus 22 and a half so if I 
took this dimension of how far down the pivot was, I've got it as high up as I can physically, it's easy enough to work out what this distance, this offset distance should be to get plus or minus 22 degrees there. And that is the amount that gives the minimum variation in the lateral movement of the blade relative to the table when it's tilted. So that's the explanation for why I've just got a single pivot here. It works as good as a trunnion bearing uh, for practical purposes, but it's just so, so much simpler to make. And uh, here's a, a better drawing of the uh, cases that I was showing. If you want to study it in more depth, press the uh, pause button. Now, I made the table from uh, two pieces of six millimeter plate that I had, and you can probably see the join between them here. I welded them together. It's uh, just some stitch welding on the underside. On the uh, top side, it was uh, Vito totally, and it was welded along the, the, the whole length. And here we can see the two pieces of uh, six millimeter plate before welding. The one on the right shows the dimensions. Now, uh, you'll uh, notice that there's uh, angle iron that's been uh, welded on around the edges. Uh, there are two reasons for this. Uh, one is to stiffen the table up somewhat and the second reason is it gives me uh, some edges to clamp some uh, guides or fences on if I need that in the future. Uh, this is the, the, the hole where the blade goes through. Um, this saw cut all the way through to the edge is to allow insertion and removal of the blade. Uh, this block on here with the, the, the bolt through is to hold these two pieces together because when that's sawn through there there's a little bit of flexibility between the two edges by, by hand with a fair bit of force I could probably separate them by about uh, half a millimetre or so but with the bolt in place like this it holds it uh, rigid. Uh, the, this piece that's welded onto the end is the stop uh, to, to hold the table level and it will have a, a, a strap on which will enable the table to be held anywhere between 90 degrees and 45 degrees. Now the next piece we're going to look at was probably the, the, the piece that took the most thinking of the, the, the whole bandsaw here. Let me just put uh, something white on here for a little bit more contrast. Now uh, this, this particular piece will end up uh, orientated this way and there will be the main column support of the bandsaw and that will be welded onto it, something like that, at the appropriate height for the table. Now uh, looking at the different functions of this, uh, this bracket which I made from 3mm uh, thick um, steel sheet is the bracket to hold the gearbox in place uh, that, that's welded on in fairly good alignment to the the bar this way and square this way if I turn it up it's uh, what will be its final uh, direction orientation uh, then this piece here this um, well it's a solid bar which has been drilled and tapped at each end is the main hinge support for the table. This block on the end, which has been uh, drilled and tapped, is to support the guides, which will be the, the guides for the blade, which are normal roller type. That will go on here, and that will be able to move up and down for adjustment. And uh, that's, that's been machined so it's square to the gearbox mounting. Uh, this block here just sits on there to hold it at 90 degrees. And it, it, it's just so that uh, over time it won't be denting the tube. So let's, let's fit that in, see how it all goes together. 
Okay, now, um, on, on the table, these two bushes that are welded on are made from the same material as this uh, hinge pin across here, and they've been welded in place. This slips in very easily. Okay. They've been welded in so that they're aligned with the, the direction of the uh, saw blade, which is determined by the wheels, of course, and it's parallel to this uh, slot. So, just bear with me while I put a couple of bolts in to hold. I'll just nip them up a little bit. Now, uh, re remember that we're looking at this upside down and, and the table's fixed. So, um, what, what will happen in practice if I want to saw at an angle of 45 degrees, uh, the, the table can be twisted. This will still remain horizontal um, when it's up the, uh, the other way. Uh, there will be a strap between here with a slot in, so I'll be able to adjust the angle anywhere between 90 here and 45 degrees. Up here and here are some pictures of one or two details this is the uh, stay for um, uh, holding the angle of the table where it's required uh, next we uh, see uh, the operation of drilling uh, the table uh, there's the table pivot from underneath and uh, a couple of um, views of the throat plate uh, installed and alongside and then finally uh, the completed saw with the table level and angled at 45 degrees well that's an end of uh, part four of this video series describing the bandsaw that i built uh, if you like this or want to see other uh, machining videos uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel on youtube moto chassis and also don't forget to uh, like the video. Uh, there's a full written description of the bandsaw build on the homemade tools forum.